Prima Bolan means fullness, superhuman recovery, dry, lean, gain. But wait, there's a dark side to Prima Bolan. Learn to use the dark side. It does come with a big element of risk. The sad thing is, most victims are not aware of this until it's too late. But first off, let's go over the primobolan essentials, dosage, ratios with test, and stacking with other compounds. When I begin to start taking this stuff, I look like I'm shining, like Bruno Mars. Everyone notices a nice glow to their skin. This is down to its ability to promote collagen synthesis with minimal androgenic sides. Depending on body fat, you will notice enhanced vascularity. Blood volume increases, resulting in strong, intense pumps in the gym. Lower dosages are used generally as a background anabolic and someone might use it with nandrolone which is run at a higher dose as the primo is just there to manage estrogen. More on that later. Medium primobolan dosages. In the peak of the cycle this can be a sweet spot. This is amazing! I feel incredible! We will see accelerated muscle cosmetics, much tighter skin, and huge levels of fullness, even if we're in a heavy calorie deficit. Aesthetically, it's more like a 3D beefier anavar. Everything just seems to pop. Chest, delts, and tries get really defined. Even at these dosages, we're going to see very little impact on our health markers, but that's providing we're on point with our lifestyle choices. Have some pizza. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what, isn't that? It's like, <laughs> it's very bad. Higher dosages on primobolan are not really needed. No matter how big the deficit, people have that glycogen loaded look and pump feeling all day. The downside is because Primo is often 100 milligrams to one mil, you're going to be pinning Run. lots and lots of oil. Primo is never deployed on its own, so it's important to have a test base in the cycle. And before we go into the ratios with test and primobolan, let's discuss estrogen control. Now, primobolan will lower your estradiol level similar to EQ, but a lot faster. Not as quick as Masteron. Be aware, do not buy into this cookie cutter hyped up test to primo one-to-one -one ratio. It's not for everyone, and it can be tricky to dial in those estradiol levels because primo is not linear at acting as an AI. What the hell does that mean? Let me explain. At a low dose of test, I might need 200 test and 100 primo, but when the test is higher, I might need 400 test and 400 primo. The lower test is a two to one primo ratio, the higher test is a one to one primo ratio. And that might be me at lower body fat levels. If I'm higher in body fat, those ratios will be different. This is one of the key reasons to start low, check your blood work each month and slowly titrate the dose up safely. Just don't let the primo crash your estrogen. It's one of the worst things, especially for older guys. Now, everything that I've just said in the last minute or so, goes out the window in terms of ratios with test when we add something like nandrolone to the mix. It's important to understand what type of drug you're adding in and the characteristics. For me at the moment, I'm on test, primo and nandrolo. So we have a three-way synergy going on there. The test on its own will increase the estrogen. Primo then competes for aromatase, which lowers estrogen. But then we have a further push up of estrogen levels from the combination of test and nandrolo. If we don't know how to manage these ratios, we're never going to be in a steady state of balance on our cycle and the whole thing is just super turbulent and hectic. But if you know what you're doing, it's very easy. For me personally, I like to remove some of the testosterone in that equation and facilitate that with some HCG. This is going to improve our overall health 
by backfilling certain pathways that are down-regulated when we're on gear. Doing this will utilize cholesterol properly, which is normally an issue and significantly elevated with androgen usage. And let's not forget, HCG is very complementary to Limbido. A great cutting stack would be the following. 250 Test, 450 Primo, 200 MPP, HCG, 1500 international units per week. Someone could add in two units of growth hormone daily in the evening for recovery and L-cartonine in the morning at 10 milligrams pre-cardio. Managing the blood work so everything is safe, being in a calorie deficit, the person will be shredded. A more of a muscle gaining stack would look like this. 175 test, 300 primo, 350 NPP with the same HCG added in and the growth hormone in the evening. Doing AM cardio, because we should always do cardio all year round, this person will be jacked, strong, glycogen loaded and looking 3D and full as a house. This is along the lines where my cycle at the moment is heading. But wait, I'm not recommending that anyone out there do either of these cycles. Don't even touch gear if you don't know what you're doing because this is a complex stack that I've laid out. A lot of things can go wrong. To get to those dosages and ratios, there's a certain path that you take through blood work. This way, it will be safe to slowly titrate the dose up without affecting the biomarkers or risking side effects. If someone starts guessing and just dives into it, copying Dr. James, they're going to end up in side effect heaven very quickly. Can you feel that? I can feel it coming on. It's the dark side of Primo. An unsuspecting victim can run Primobolan for eight weeks and think everything's fine legit until they look at their blood work. The lipid profile will be smashed. That's the proof whether it's fake or not. If it was real Primo and your diet was in checked and you weren't on stupid amounts of gear, plus your cholesterol was fine in the first place, the lipid profiles will be perfectly untouched. When this happens, it's like a knife to the heart. Primo is two to three times the price of something like Mastron or EQ. When we pay top dollar, we want top dollar. It's just unfortunate nowadays there's a few scoundrels out there running around spoiling Primo for everyone. Entrance music, that's a shame. Some people are deluded to think that the only way to get real Primo is the Bayer Pharmaceutical Amps. Pharmaceutical gear is even being fake too. Bayer had to rename their product Rimabolan because the Primabolan was being faked too often. So be careful, don't just try anything that says Bayer on it. It's not actually faked in the way that someone might think. There is a trend in having Primo in the compound, yes. And that is so the steroid testing kits do pick it up, but it's only gonna be there in tiny amounts. The rest of it is going to be filled up with Mastron or even worse, EQ. Often they get away with it because these poor guys just don't know what to expect from the real stuff. All this is to say, please, please be careful. Do your due diligence, the research, talk to people with the results from the legit stuff. But let's just say you could not get your hands on it. Because you're not sure whether it's real or not and you don't want to take the risk. Could we swap it out for Mastron? Mastron does make you look very flat. You won't have that glycogen 3D loaded look like you're on Primo. Plus, Mast is less anabolic than Primo by 20%. Primo is actually closer to EQ than it is to Mastron. But EQ is a very advanced compound and I would not recommend taking it unless you really know what you're doing. If I had to take Mastron instead of Primo, I would use NPP or Deca with it because that's gonna bring the fullness out that you lose with the Mastron. If you're coming to the end of a cycle, then Anavar would be an even better choice. It's just that fullness that Primo does bring versus Anavar, which is gonna be less. And Anavar, because it's an oral, will actually make the stomach look thicker and more bloated. And in terms of lipid destruction, 
destruction, you're going to have more destruction through Anavar than Primo. So the answer is no, you can't really replace Primo with either Mast, EQ or Anavar, unfortunately. And don't even get me started on swapping it for Winstroll, that is a definite no-no. Will the hairline get torched on Primo? This is a smart way to easily combat that. Just up the dose and very soon you will not have any hair left to lose. Take that Primo. Jokes aside, it's actually quite mild for hair loss, which is mostly genetic from your mother's side of the family. If you were to get Primo and it was Mastron, your hairline will be nuked. And I think that's where it comes from. People try Primo, it's actually masked, the hairline gets stripped and they end up in tears. Remember, hair loss is mostly down to having low SHBG levels. That free circulating DHT is now allowed to go and blast your hair follicles. If you want to save your hairline, perhaps look into microneedling and minoxidil. And finasteride won't do anything because if you're on Primo, it's already converted to DHT. There's no point stopping that conversion because it's already happened. Using sensible dosages with the right ratio of test, in my opinion, it really is the most well-tolerated, safest refined compound there is. I have not experienced a single side effect with the stuff. The only problem that could come up is having low E2 levels. But if you get monthly blood work, it's very easy to see that before it shows up. The fact that there is so little all to say about primobolan is why I like it so much. To me, it's a complete no stress addition to a cycle. It can be used in a muscle gaining stack or a cutting stack. It can be tolerated safely with other compounds. It fits well as a background anabolic or something else on the front foot. And from what I've seen, guys can run this safely and stay healthy for months on end. If you need personalized guidance or help on your mission to leveling up, you can reach out. Go below this video, hit that link in the description, reach out and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. The next video coming up is all about Trend, the most dangerous compound out there. Don't ever use it, but it's worth knowing about it and it's a bit of a fun video. Enjoy that. Double bicep, I'm out.